what is up my crazy subscriber this is joking johnson 4 here bringing you guys more man 15 ultimate team and also welcome to game number two of season five now for sure you guys can already tell this is going to be kind of a bad game going on because of the title yes there's going to be tons of bs in this game you can get you guys going to watch how it happens and one of the spoilers i would like to give you guys will be that brandon browner should be released after this game that he should really be replaced because the way he was just mistreated in this fucking game was just horrible, man. It's horrendous. It's just... I don't understand how it happened, man. Several times, especially in the second quarter and the third quarter, this guy gets freaking burned so badly. So, just keep an eye on that part. And also, my offensive linemen are weak as hell. They can't push back. They just can't. I couldn't run my counters. I couldn't run my hatback misdirections. I couldn't run anything. They were dead in this game. And um, it's just sad to see Doug Martin and Marshall Lynch just getting only 9 yards per game now. It's, it's just that they're not producing. My offensive line is not letting me do anything now. So, I gotta develop a plan, guys, soon so I can get more players later on and do more solo challenges. So, anyways, let's talk, let's talk about the gameplay. I'm currently in offense on my first drive. Didn't go successful as I wanted because I couldn't run the ball. The, Derek Carr, and that play, I can, actually I was pressing triangle as much as I can. But it wouldn't throw the ball. I was like, God damn it. I was tapping it so bad, but it wouldn't throw it. So that's why I got this, I got sacked in that play. And then here's one bullshit right here. I don't understand how that guy caught the ball right there. I mean, I uh, had defensive back up there. He should have been covered. I don't know what the hell happened. Ended up backing off in the 3-10. Three, three and 10, I threw a pick. The reason why I threw a pick is I was frustrated from the first two plays. I, since I couldn't run into my first drive, I just went pure passing. And nobody was freaking open. So I was like, damn it. Just throw it, just fucking throw it. I was pissed off, so I just fucking threw it and threw a pick. Ended up back on defense, fourth and go. Nice goal line stand on my previous three plays, but on the fourth down, that play should have been intercepted. Back on offense, fourth and ten, I ended up converting with Brandon Marshall over there. Nice catch by him on that post route. I uh, tried to trick him here with a little run down the middle just to make him think, like, oh, he's going to trick me the hell out of me. And that's exactly what I'm trying to go now. Because after a while, I, I learned that this guy was falling for it. He thought I was going to go pass all the time. But when I called that run play, I mean, he, it gave me like around 10 yards, which is pretty good, which led into this. Mercedes Lewis until play action. And I'm pretty sure right there my opponent wanted me to score. He left a huge ass gap on his defense. But I ended up throwing a play action instead and uh, threw a touchdown to Mercedes Lewis. Back on defense, uh, Demontre Moore and Jadavion Clowney finally come out of the freaking closet or from wherever they were hiding from, a cave or whatever. And they got a sack. Now, this is the part of where I was explaining to you guys why. Brandon Browner was exposed there was one catch the first catch should have been intercepted the second catch was a bullshit animation I'm tired of that shit I'm tired of that BS Dude, give me another fucking animation please there's no way the freaking defensive back is gonna catch that pick with one hand man so anyways that was one of the ways that Brandon Browner got burned and yes there's still gonna be more uh, back in the offense over here, I lobbed it to, to uh, the Demarius Thomas, and he caught like around like a 50-yard pass. That was a pretty nice pass. He burned that cornerback real good, which led me into a touchdown. 14-21, third quarter, three minutes and 28 seconds to go. Intercept the ball with Antonio Cromartie, trying to take it all the way back, but damn it, all these guys were on my face already. I believe he has Derek Carr too. I mean, there's nobody out there with number four in this jersey, isn't there? Yeah, I think Derek Carr is the only one. So, uh, back in offense, trying to convert my first down. First and 10. Wide open. X right there. Brandon Marshall drops the ball three yards away from the touchdown. Got to go back into second and 10. Run a good counter right there. He fell for them. I mean, I'm telling you guys, I'm trying to check the shit out of this guy and his, and his working right there. And then Hearns, the, the receiver from the Jacksonville Jaguars, 86 overall, drops the goddamn ball on the goal line. And right there, that was a glitchy ass move by the defensive back. You guys might, might want to rewind that part because it was bullshit. It was literally bullshit. Two bullshits back to back. So back on defense, my opponent was kind of uh, panicking right there. Uh, two minutes and 13 seconds to go on the fourth quarter. And then he lobs it all the way towards the outside to a six foot one receiver, I believe, or 5'10". I think he's 5'10". He's the legendary receiver from the Seahawks. I believe he's 5'11". He caught it between Brandon Browner and the safety that I had him covered with. How the fuck did that happen? Seriously, so he burned Brandon Browner. I ended up back in offense, 14, 28, one minute and 30 seconds to go. Lob it to Brandon Marshall because there was like no other options to do. And um, yeah, 
Ended up being picked, so um, ended up back on defense. Pretty much of a dead game already. There's only 50 seconds to go. I don't believe in myself when it comes down to this. I mean, I'm two touchdowns behind. So that's pretty much the end of the game, guys. Pretty much it is. I'm just like, whatever, you know. Just whatever. Just let me play cover three all day and just try to do something, but nothing. Ended up with eight seconds on the clock. I'm just going to lob it to Demaria since he's been parenting the cornerback all day. And Derek Carr overthrows him again. Seriously, that's not the first time that happens. You guys can want to go back like a few plays behind and you'll be able to see how he overthrows the Marius. And this one, he got it right, but he didn't even score a touchdown. So that's it, guys. Ended up losing 14-28. Uh, pretty much uh, most of my mistakes were on offense, where I threw the first two picks. And um, also on defense, my cornerbacks were exposed, especially Brandon Browner. He was exposed badly. I need to get rid of Brandon Browner. So I I'm listening to you guys. I am going to replace Brandon Browner soon. So that's it, guys. Leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up. If you guys like the series, make sure you leave a like to show support of the series. And, um, you know, that's it, guys. We lost, but uh, we can for sure, we're going to have revenge on the next game. I'm ready for it. So subscribe for more, guys.